She wrote, found at the Goodwill for $6.49, did a seven-day auction, sold for $356 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the best January Bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and who is they? Bolo Buddies Facebook members. Members of my Facebook group share their best January Bolo. So go to the Facebook group, look for share your best February Bolo, and I also have share your best plush and share your best jewelry this month. So check out those share for a shout out and it's super fun. So let's see what sold in January. So I'm going to start with one of mine. This is a Tobin stamp tablecloth for embroidery oblong prairie rose. And you may have seen this in one of my other videos because this one is mine, but I wanted to share it in this video because different people watch this. One person asked, does it have the embroidery floss? I don't think it does. I think this is just the pattern. And I sold this for $100 best offer and I paid $2 for it at a garage sale. So definitely be on the lookout for stamped tablecloths. This may have been a hard to find pattern. I was very patient. I did receive other offers and I held out for at least $100 on this. Michelangelo Oneida or Onita, I'm not sure how to say it, stainless steel flatware set of 12. A lot of people think that stainless steel is not big money. That is not necessarily true. Uh, look how pretty that spoon is. Oh my goodness. Um, stopped at a garage sale this summer and this was sitting on a table. Asked how much and she said 50. After doing some quick research, I gladly paid her what she asked. Took a best offer of $765 stainless steel guys stainless steel so keep that in mind all right the next one got this incredibly cool lion ring by james yesberger at a pawn shop i paid 25 for it i sold it for full asking price of 240 it is a james yesberger beautiful vintage sterling silver 3d lion ring check it out it's a hugger. It hugs the finger, the little animal hugger. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it. Look how cute it is. $240. That's fantastic. This one comes from the Funky Pickle store. Check her out on YouTube. She's the Funky Pickle thrifter and she will teach you about jewelry. Vintage 1962 Barbie bubble cut. And this one, she said, source from a large lot of Barbies on Mercari. So she bought it on Mercari. If you guys are not on Mercari, you got to get on Mercari. Even if you don't want to sell on Mercari, you can buy on Mercari. You can search solds on Mercari. It is a great platform for researching. Um, I've got lots of videos where I talk about how I research on Mercari because when an item sells, it actually does sell. It's not like eBay where there's non-payment. So definitely check that out. I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join Mercari and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So check that out, especially if you want to expand to other platforms. Source, okay, so she sourced it on Mercari. She said, I usually buy them in bulk and steal their clothes to part out. <laughs> this rare 1962 bubble cut Barbie doll was in there, listed for 105, took a best offer of 94.50. She probably cost me less than a buck. So she bought a large lot and she's smart. I know it's nude, but look at the makeup. She's showing the body because a lot of times these have like teeth marks in them and just different things. So it's important to show uh, the body of a Barbie doll. And the next item new to me brand. I paid three seventy five, three dollars and seventy five cents for sold it for 80 shipped on eBay. Eileen West is the brand. It was new with tags, long gown, nightgown, plus size 2X. So it's a great size. And there it is. Eileen West. It's a nightgown. It's a nightgown. Oh, look what she did with the crayon. Look what she did with the crayon. Wow. You know how people are like, well, what color is it? Well, it's the color in the photo. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, computer monitors and phone monitors, they show colors different, I guess. That's what I've heard anyway. 
Here is something to watch out for. Old motorcycle repair manuals. I got a handful of these from my dad's old stuff. So $0 invested. They have been selling pretty consistently since I listed them. I know I saw some over, um, over the summer to garage sale and didn't even check them out. From now on, I will. The most recent one I listed it for $39.99 took an offer of $30. We have made multiple sales ranging from $8 to $30. The name is Gemini Galaxies. And I don't think I told you this one here comes from Piece of Scrap. She's on eBay and YouTube. Definitely go check out her YouTube channel and Gemini Galaxies. So I think this one sold for best offer of 30. So it is a motorcycle manual. There you have it. This one is a vintage Jim Henson's Muppets Bean Bunny Vision 3D Disneyland Resort plush. Found it at American Cancer Society Discovery Shop, paid five, sold for full asking price on Mercari for 169 plus shipping within four months of listing. Got a lot of questions about lowest price, but I knew I priced it right. Mercari store is HB Blonde. Okay, so look at this guy. Has the original tag. And another good reason to sell on Mercari is plush does really well on Mercari. Sometimes the items are flooded on eBay and you can get more on Mercari for plush. I've done videos about that. Look at this one. I love it. This one comes from Noni's Treasure House. Here, uh, she says, hey, Courtney, Noni's treasure, Treasure's House here. Thanks to you, I now know how to share a link. Um, if you guys don't know how to share a sold link, I did a video on it because I changed the format of these videos. It used to be a screenshot, but now I need you to share an actual sold link. It's really easy. But um, if you don't know how to do it, I show you in a video. So look for that on my YouTube channel. I also have it pinned under the featured section of the group. So I'd love for you guys to share one of your sold so I can feature it in a video like this. And she said, got these two boxes of Saran disposable cutting sheets at an estate sale for about $3 for both. Always comp new old stock. Glad I did. Sold it to one buyer for $59.98. You guys, check it out. How fun is that? That's a great bolo. Unexpected. All right, here we go. This is our best sale to date since we started selling in January of 2021. Paid 75 at a yard sale back in October. The light and carousel didn't work, but they still do pretty well for parts. Buyer purchased and paid 200 for shipping and has already left positive feedback. This is considered a grail for Budweiser collectors and can sell a lot for a lot more in working condition. Shipped from Texas to Maine and wrapped it in a twin size foam mattress topper. $15 from Walmart. Lots of paper and bubble wrap. Looks like it sold for $549.99 for parts. And they got it at a yard sale. There you go. So keep in mind, if you find it and it works, it's going to sell for even more. Ha, <laughs> this is fun. I may have made a bolo mistake. Listed this vintage fruit stripe gum five stick with tattoo promo pack still in the promo plastic wrapper for 40. It sold in less than 10 minutes. I probably should have run an auction with the recent rise in fruit stripe gum prices due to the company discontinuing the product line. Still a good sale as I am into it for zero. Found this while rummaging through an estate sale free box. I can't complain with those margins. $39.99 on this. Vintage discontinued Fruit Stripes Gum 5 Stick 25 Cent Tattoo Promotional Pack. There you go. This one comes from, and who? Okay. This one comes from uh, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Steven Universe and Maine. Never heard of that. Um, we love fine giant 28 inch crossbody swag bag. It's a swag bag. She has a video on swag bags. You guys should check it out. Um, not necessarily swag bags, but bags like this, different tote bags from uh, what's the one store? Oh, I can't think of it. I just had it and I lost it. Just go, go check out her YouTube channel. She has a whole video on different types of bags that you can sell for profit, things that you would totally unexpect. She said, so if you know me, then you know I did a Let's Talk About It video on her YouTube channel about selling reusable bags. That's not the word I was looking for, but reusable bags. 
then this won't surprise you. I sold this for a best offer of $34.99, all in $41.14 for your free shipping peeps, for you free shipping peeps. It's going internationally to Japan, and I paid a dollar for it at a community yard sale. eBay store name, Farm Girl Scavenge Scavenges. <laughs> I can't say that. I'm used to saying Farm Girl Scavenger. No, that's hard. All right, here we go. She's probably like, Courtney, you're nuts. All right. Vintage Ragold, R-A-G-O-L-D. Velaments, wintergreen, sugar-free. What on earth? Made in Germany. I don't know what these are. Are they some type of mint? A wintergreen mint? Uh, does not promote tooth decay. There you go, guys. Check it out. <laughs> wow. Vintage and collectible gum and candy. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a thing. I was given two packages, two packages of these when I was helping out at an estate sale. They were free to me. I sold one package for $27.99 and that was 30% off sale, $36.08 total shipped for those of you who sell with free shipping. I still have one more, maybe not a high dollar sale, but something many people never think about. Tic Tac Gum, anyone? My eBay store is Farm Girl Scavenges. Uh, you guys, Tic Tac Gum, she has made so much money on Tic Tac Gum. You've probably seen it in my past videos, but it looks like uh, this one is a nice little find as well. Ralph Lauren Bell Harbor Red Floral King Comforter, French Country with two shams. My biggest sale to date as a part-time reseller found it at a local thrift store for 13. I was running a 25% off sale on eBay in eBay store and this sold for 247.49. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, Ralph Lauren, if you see it, definitely look it up. Even if it's pre-owned, there, there are certain patterns that do better than others. Orlando Solar Bears Pink Whitney Jersey, Erica Nardini, uh, number 22 CEO Barstool Sports 50. I don't know what any of that means because I'm not into sports, but let's see what she wrote. Found at the Goodwill for $6.49, did a seven-day auction, sold for $356 plus shipping, Sammy's Vintage and more. Wow. Wonder what makes it so uh, special. $356. Unbelievable. This one comes from Edge City Traders. Bought at a local Goodwill for $5. Sold for full asking price of $23.87 plus shipping. Many people collect unusual hand-tooled leather items and blue-footed bobby items. I don't know what that means. Visit me on eBay, Etsy, and whatnot as Edge City Traders. So it is a tooled leather, blue-footed folk art. I don't know what blue-footed means. Let's see. Hmm. Is it a book? I'm so confused. <laughs> I, what is it? Okay. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. All right. Here we go. Uh, this is... Also from Edge City Traders, picked up as part of a Christmas decor lot at a local high bid auction. Several ornaments are sun faded and others have dark spots. The entire huge lot and more, uh, I'm sorry, with more than 100 ornaments cost $7.50. This lot of 10 sold for asking price of $44.87. And they are mercury glass. It looks like West Germany, shiny bright. There you go. Found at a toy section at Salvation Army, priced at $2.99. I knew rubber faced, it's this one, plush were bolo. So I purchased, upon research, I found this one to be rare, sold for a full listing price of $200 within hours of listing. So $2.99 into $200. This one here, purchased from someone, local pickup, Facebook Marketplace for $25. From the photos they had, I could tell these were vintage. I went through the whole tub and sorted out the true vintage Hot Wheels and threw out the rest. Listed for 100 accepted best offer of 75 within a week. She said, I love this group and have had so many scores from the knowledge I have learned here. I would love a shout out. My eBay store is mbrowning97. You got it. And thanks for sharing. The next item is this. Vintage 1976 McDonald's souvenir map from Hawaii. Fast food advertising. Looky there, guys. A while back, I bought a scrapbook of a 
um, of a couple's 1970s trip to Hawaii for $2. I've sold several items from it. This McDonald's promotional piece sold for $18.98. And it looks like the buyer paid shipping. So there you go. Ephemera. Ephemera, ephemera. A great place to get ephemera is on whatnot. Lots of people have ephemera uh, sales where they sell it in bulk. So if you're not sourcing on whatnot, it's definitely a good place to source. Uh, there is a link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot with that referral link. And let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this next one, I could not pull up the exact sold. I think the listing expired. But here's what um, I found. This is Vintage Jam Inc. It's This is the cheeseburger, okay? But this is by Joanne Mark. I don't know how to say her name. M-A-R-Q-U-A-R-D-T. These are uh, coasters. And these are the cheeseburgers. The gal on, and this one's a bagel. And here's another cheeseburger. But the gal on Facebook sold a sandwich. And she sold the sandwich. I'm going to show you here. She said, I once saw this in a burger forum on a Facebook page. I thought it was the cutest thing. Then a few months ago, I was at my favorite thrift store and it was crowded. I saw it all taped together. I snatched it so fast between two women. They must have thought I was crazy. I checked out, paid three bucks and ran home. I was so excited. After unpacking it, I saw every piece, no chips, nothing missing. Then I flipped them and saw all the original feet, I started researching. I knew who I thought made it. I needed confirmation. I found one on Pinterest. It was a picture of someone's collection. I was right. Problem was zero sold were the sandwich. What was sold was the burger without all the pieces in the 300 to 350 range. So I asked 439, let it ride and got full asking price in four weeks. I'm happy it sold to someone. Um, I like to imagine has my taste and an awesome collection. Best believe I packaged it well. And it's a seven piece ceramic coaster set, but it's a deli sandwich. And if you go to the Facebook group, you can actually see the picture of hers. Um, and it shows the bottom of the feet and everything like that. But uh, all right. So I just have the cheeseburger, but there's a deli sandwich as well. All right, these are from Finland, or they say Finland. Let's see. Coffee teacups, vintage, blue and white. Let me get, see the bottom here. There you go. Arabia, Finland. Um, I can't read what that says right there. It looks like they say LPS or LPAM. Oh, that's weird. They say different things. Pick these four cups at the Goodwill, 99 cents each. Almost fell out of the store. Almost fell out in the store when I looked at comps and was nervous until I paid for them and got out of there. Sold in 86 days for $80.74 plus shipping while running a 15% off sale. Received positive feedback. Nanny's treasure chest, 99 cents each. Fantastic. And that is it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go down, join the Facebook group. It's under my link tree and come on over and share your best Big Money Bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. Thanks for watching.